Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva, and this is Civilization V Brave New World playing with the Community Balance Patch. As some of you might be aware who have been following my America Let's Play these past two weeks, um, the patch is still in beta, and my save game crashed, and I couldn't get back into the game anymore. I've tried a couple of times, and it was a known issue for the patch, and has since been fixed, but not save game compatible. Which means that we're going to play a new Let's Play, because I'm really enjoying this right now. Um, right now, the most out of everything I'm playing, somehow. Well, next to Heroes of the Storm, but that, that's not really a good fit for the channel. So, I've already set up something that I'm going to play as. I'm going to play as Odo Nobunaga of Japan. I know I just finished the EU4 campaign as Japan, but Civ 5 is in general different anyway. Um, it's just the theming of the nation and some of the units and buildings. That's really everything, but yeah, I've been playing a lot on Twitch as well, playing a campaign as Isabella of Spain in, in this community patch and Spain is quite ridiculous in that um, religions other than yours cannot be spread to own cities or allied city-states whenever city after your first is founded or conquered its citizens are converted to your religion and you receive faith basically whenever you found your first city you basically have your first pantheon it's quite hilarious but I'm gonna play as Japan because the Communitas maps always have a lot of water, as well as a lot of land, actually. And the Japanese are very strong in combat. Combat strength of units increases as they take damage. Plus two culture and plus one food from fishing boats and atolls. Atolls are already ridiculously overpowered, and with Japan we will want to get as many of them as we can. Um, because I'm going to play Militaristic Save, I'm going to pick Immortal. I'm enjoying Emperor but it's slightly too easy to stay ahead of the computer in Immortal. I'm um, actually, in uh, the Japan game, um, in the top three without trying. Well, top four maybe, but uh, out of 12 actually. I'm in the top four without trying before the medieval era. So Immortal is a bigger challenge, of course. I'm still not ready for Deity, and I definitely don't want to play this patch on Deity. I still want to enjoy myself as well. I know there will be a point where I will play Deity on this channel, and I will beat it at some point. So, that will happen. I will not stop playing this game until I've at least beaten Deity once. Anyway, the map we're picking is Communitas, because it creates continents and islands with climate based on elevation and wind. It includes custom game setup options. I'm going to play on a large map. Um... Now I'm going to play on a huge map with 10 sieves and to compensate 26 city-states. Uh, I want some room to expand and have room to expand. The AI will also make use of it, even abuse it. Anyway, difficulty immortal, game speed epic. I want to let, let it last a bit. Starting ancient era, 4 billion years, that's fine. Um, I want the sea level to be high. Um, and no, medium, medium. The campaign I'm playing in Spain on Twitch is actually on low, which is kind of odd. I think it's on low anyway. Continents, this is all fine. I do want to enable research agreements. And no tech brokering. You cannot sell technology to another civilization unless you have researched that tech yourself. That's very important. I don't like tech trading in Civ games, but no tech brokering makes it kind of okay anyway all of this is fine and I'm gonna load the map because that takes a while because it's a huge map it does take like two three minutes to actually generate the map script I'm gonna take a short cut here and see you back as soon as we have generated the map blessings upon you noble Odo Nobunaga ruler of the land where the sun rises May you long walk among its flowering blossoms. 
You are the ruler of Japan, the land of the rising sun. The Japanese are an island people, proud and pious with the rich culture of arts and letters. Your civilization stretches back thousands of years, years of bloody warfare, expansion and isolation, great wealth and great poverty. In addition to their prowess on the field of battle, your people are also immensely industrious, and their technological innovation and mighty factories are the envy of lesser people everywhere. Legendary Daimo, will you grab the reins of destiny? Will you bring your family and people honor and glory? Will you once again pick up sword and shield and march to triumph? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Well... This is not the best start so far. I have no fishing boats whatsoever. I am next to a lake though, and that does give us something to aspire to when it comes to um, a certain... Oh, I have tobacco and marble. I do like this location a lot, so I am going to settle here. And I'm going to... Ooh, that's right. Because I was on a forest or a jungle, we got to cut it. So my first production is ridiculous. So this shrine, which should take... Well, we have five production per turn. That's three from our palace, I guess. Yeah, it's three from our palace. So five production per turn, normally it would take 20 turns to build a shrine. Right now it's only 12. So I'm going to go for a shrine first and put a scout in there afterwards. Maybe we m might pick up some gold on the way. Now, because fishing boats are important, I need to get trapping first to get fishing fish revealed. I don't know. Yeah, because... Let's look at our UA again, just in case you missed it. Um, that's Isabella of Spain again. So, Japan, where are you? Leaders, Oda Nobunaga. The common strength of units increases as they take damage, plus two culture and plus one food from fishing boats and atolls. We cannot see fish yet. We know it might be there. But we cannot see it yet. When we see it, we can build those fishing boats. This is why we need to get to uh, fishing pretty fast. My other unique things, by the way, are the samurai, um, which are a powerfully medieval infantry unit. They have... Um, they replace the long swordsman. They have four more strength than... The swordsman. They also get um, some special abilities, special uh, upgrades that the swordsmen don't get, and they can build fishing boats without being consumed. So they can go out into the water, drop a fishing boat, and still be a samurai, which is pretty good. Um, they basically work as workers that, in that sense. That well, they work as fishing boats. Without being used the same way the, if I can find it, the Legion um, should be able to build roads. Maybe that changed, but in at least in the base game, they can build roads without being a worker. So that's why Legion are actually pretty strong for the Romans. And what I completely forgot to show you is the Dojo. It's a replacement for the armory. It reduces crime, which is one of the mechanics for happiness in this game. Uh, in this patch, I should say. Grants more experience for every military unit trained in the city. And iron and horses gain culture and production. They also give the eight virtues of Bushido um, in promotion to anyone, any unit built there, a melee unit. Promotion is replaced with a randomly chosen new promotion after the unit completes its first combat. And I think they might actually be strong ones as well. But it's it's randomly chosen, so... Um, it's the same thing that Crest Swordsman get in the base game. Not sure if they do in um, the patch either. So... 
if Indonesia still has Chris Swordsman, because one thing that this patch does is give every civilization either a unique building or a unique improvement. There are no civs with two unique e units anymore. Which is actually one of the reasons some people... Yeah, there's still Chris Swordsman. Replaces, try him out in combat as soon as possible. Unlock the streak. Yes. They get the Mystic Blade. Which basically, promotion is replaced with a randomly chosen new promotion. So that's at least still the same. More water. Um, Not good for exploration. Good for building a city with perhaps more fish. So once I have a scout, I will want to check out more of the land back here. But for now, this guy needs to really get moving because I need to find goody huts. Ruins. Oh man, if I build a city like there, maybe here, I can use this lake as a, as a freaking isthmus. And then this will be a canal. Oh, I love, I love making canals. If you can get your navy moving fast to both sides of a big ocean where your opponent cannot do it, that's ridiculously good. I mean, buying a scout would cost me 160. It would save me 12 turns of building it myself. Um, crudely drawn map, we find the city of Valletta next to Atolls. Oh, that's... that's... That hurts, because I want atolls. Atolls give me five food, two production, and two culture. Base, they give four food, two production. Actually, I should be able to kill that without dying. Hopefully nothing spawns, but... Yeah. I should also get a promotion before actually killing it, which is good. Oh, we actually kill it as well. Totally unexpected, I'll be honest. Um, does give us some bonus gold as well. We could have waited perhaps for Valletta to get a um, mission to kill it, but this is fine too. You are going to get Drill. Hello, crabs. Yes, there is going to be a city over here. Too bad this area is not one, one small. It's just slightly too big. We might actually have to take Valletta, actually. Oh, and at all. They're crazy good for us, so yeah, city is going to be placed probably there. That should be doable. Mm -hmm. I should also heal the guy, but I still want to hunt for ruins. And I think this might actually be a, um, <laughs> a dead end at some point, so I might as well just check it out. Ooh, more tolls. I love them. It's the whole game plan for Kyoto. Anyway, the reason I'm building a shrine first is because I really, really want to get a pantheon going. I find salts. Because the pantheon will be quite important. Because there is a pantheon that improves fishing boats and sea resources. Um, I cannot find it through there. Maybe through the Civilopedia. Religion Pantheon. There are many Pantheon beliefs right now. I think these are the special Celtic ones, actually. Yeah. Theranus the Horned Stag. What I want to find is the God of the Sea. Plus two faith from fishing boats and atolls, plus two food in coastal cities. That just meshes really well with our unique ability. Which is the main reason to then pick it. Still haven't actually found Valletta. They're hostile though. They have a hostile... Uh, they feel quite hostile. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is indeed a dead end. I will probably still build a city down here. Because of course, once again, atolls. But also salt just across the water. Ah... Wheat. Wheat is also pretty damn good. Hmm. Our city is boring. Of all the things they find, it is boring, apparently. Hey, it's an atoll. This makes another good city location. With um, tobacco, lake... 
I think we're gonna have a tobacco monopoly in this game. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Thank you, Saint Jerome. Um, oh, actually, bison down here. Good. That's the only resource we actually discovered through that. Um, yes, fishing it is, because I want to unlock the fishing boat and actually know where fish is. Also allows me to embark, which is a useful ability to have. And this warrior will look over here, then look over there, and the scout is just going to go north. I only found one ruin because, well, we are on a stretch of land, which will be mine. Okay, there's actually nothing more over here. Hmm. This is not the greatest of starts in that sense, but could be a lot worse. Kyoto has grown already size 4 because it does have a shit ton of food. Yeah, that's a bummer. I could have gotten a lot of progress bon bonus from this. Because I like to go progress. And, um, so far I've only played progress. Uh, well, the first my game is America was actually going into the combat 3 in the beginning. Because that's also pretty good. But yeah, I like progress. Wow, there's like nothing over here. You are going to build me a monument. Because I kind of want it. Oh, seriously, the city's going to grow before we actually get a policy. Maybe there's culture in that one, though. That would be very useful for us right now. Um, yeah, there's nothing much more to explore here. Except go there. Production boost. Well, that's actually going to boost... Um, actually, it might not. Hmm. So that gave us a little bit of production for the monument. Which means that the monument will finish the turn before we get... No, it's not going to help. There's so much tobacco around here. It's crazy. Yeah, Kyoto is growing so fast that they're becoming really unhappy. Because we cannot maintain their... Um, their unhappiness. Mm-hmm. Oh man, no, no, f well, no fish yet. Doesn't mean that it isn't there because I just cannot see it yet. Um, I could curtail growth, but um, now you choose to city management. I want you to lock that tile, lock these tiles for now. I think this is better. A little bit more production this early on. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a nice bay area. Still no more resources here. This might actually be the the end of the map. Because there's a graphical glitch over there. And we could perhaps... Yeah, I think I know... On the one hand, the fishing boat thing is really strong. On the other hand, purifying waters is also really going to be a really powerful uh, pantheon for us. So either one will probably be amazing. Fishing boats or God of the Open Sea because it just combines really well with our unique ability. Um, yes, we get progress before the city growth grows, which is fine. Um, I will want to take pottery next, so I kind of should get started on a worker at the very least. So the reason why I want progress first before the city grows... Hey, a new encampment. Is that every time your capital grows you gain a bunch of science. And that's pretty powerful. And gain an additional 10 culture when the technology is unlocked. Uh, you gain 10 culture and 10 more 
still scaling with era etc and just the progress tree in general i really like bonuses when you grow production in every city and happiness for people food in every city and signs from connections production bonuses towards buildings basically all your cities are stronger authority is more about fighting barbarians and growing big as a nation which is also good for us and tradition just makes it really 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 strong capital and has some bonuses for the rest of the nation as well but no well that was a turn 30 for stonehenge but i will be honest um that is partially due to the fact that the ai should start with a couple of research resources Text researches. Regardless, I want to thank you all for watching this first episode. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and then subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitch if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.